Okay, uh, what I'm going to do today is we're going to remove the speaker out of this uh, uh, UPS. I've got here a uh, CyberPower SL700U standby UPS system. This thing's uh, $74 off of Amazon. Uh, it's really nice. Um, I use them to power uh, little five port network switches in my house. Okay, so the problem with all of these things is that uh, what happens, let me show you what happens uh, when you, uh, let's, let's plug this in over here. And, uh, okay, so now it's on, everything's fine, it operates for, you know, whatever, three months, and then your power goes out in your house. Now this thing could actually power a little five port switch for like 24 hours with the power out. So your network stays up. But watch what happens really closely, and it's really important to watch this little green light here. So when, when we lose power, okay, we just lost power in the house. Did you see the little green light blinked and there was this annoying beep? Okay, so imagine you've lost power in your house and it's really obvious you've lost power in your house because every light is out, right? And, and, <laughs> and this, this event occurs and then you have to run around all over your house and turn these off from beeping. And, uh, and uh, that no one wants the beep, no one. No one wants the beep. The beep is nothing but annoying. So. Oh, there it is again, and it'll continue like that for 24 hours, uh, sucking your battery dry. Now, the way they do that in these units is uh, they have a little tiny speaker in them, okay? And the speaker always looks the same in all these UPSs. It's this round device, and it's soldered onto the little motherboard inside. And what we want to do is we want to just break that off and remove it, because again, I would pay... $30, $40 extra for one of these units if it didn't do that at me all day long. And, and again, no one wants that. The, 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 here's, the, here's the funniest thing about a power outage. Okay, so let's say you're not in your home and the power goes out. Okay, now it's beeping at nobody. So, so there's just literally no point in having a beep. If you're in your house, obviously you know the power's gone out because the lights are out. And if, and oh, a, a better one is, let's say you have a medical device. Uh, uh, <laughs> I hate this thing so much. So um, I'm gonna plug it, I'm gonna plug it, uh, no, I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, so, okay, so let's say you have a medical device. I sleep with a CPAP, okay? Now stay with me here. If I had one of these, it could run the CPAP all night long so that if the power goes out, I get a good night's sleep, right? Okay except for it's beeping at you all night long. So, <laughs> so this, 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 is, this is just, the, the manufacturers all put the speaker in and no one wants it. It's literally the most requested feature. So all of us that uh, know what we're doing, we buy a brand new one. This one's brand new, out of the box, and we tear the speaker out so that it absolutely doesn't bother you. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is how you do that. It takes about five minutes. Really, really fast, really simple. It will increase the battery life of the unit by removing this speaker. And again, no one wants that beep. No one. There isn't a single solitary person that's ever wanted that beep to happen. Okay, so here, let me show you how this is done. Uh, now, the, the, the important thing, I'm going to do this with just a couple of, you know, really super basic tools. Uh, and, and again, this is the CyberPower VA... Uh, SL700U standby UPS system, right? Real sleek little unit. I actually really like them, except for the speaker. Okay, uh, to open this up, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty simple system. It's pretty forgiving. You got to remember that even though it's unplugged, it can shock you. So just be careful with it. More, I don't want to destroy the electronics. I don't, I don't really think you could get that hurt. So uh, if you look at the back of this thing, um, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six screws, and then there's two screws on this panel here. So that's, that's eight screws, and, the, the, and, and they're, they're all exactly the same, which is nice. And so all you do, I don't even know if this is like, you know, the correct screwdriver for this, but it, but it works. Okay, so you take this thing, and uh, you, you just, you know, there's a, there's a Phillips head screw in there, and you just uh, unscrew one, Unscrew two, unscrew three, unscrew four, unscrew five, 
And these are just coming loose in here. These screws are just coming loose. It, it's a pretty it's a pretty forgiving design. The screw just stays within that little well right there. And, and you can't really miss, um, which is really actually really convenient. Okay, so there, I've gotten, uh, that's six screws. Okay, so now we're gonna do this really sensitive part. We're gonna try and avoid dumping them all out on the ground. So we tilt it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, all right. So, wait, we're missing one. Actually, two of the screws didn't come out. You look around, you just, you know, get a light and look in it, and you'll notice that like this one is still in there. So you loosen up just a little bit. Boom, that one dropped out. Let's uh, put these over here for safekeeping. One, two, three, four, five, and then one more. Six. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do? I guess I I left the I left these two screws on this time. I'm gonna try and take I'm gonna take those off. So these two screws. So if you see this, this fit over the battery, and you could have opened this with the battery first. So I'm just gonna take these two screws out of here. And one more. But don't have to keep track of anything. It's real simple. Okay. So those two panels, I'm gonna put those, try and put those on camera, I don't know. Anyway, so, <clears throat> so you get down to this thing. Now the first thing we wanna do is we really wanna disconnect the battery. We wanna be careful to not, uh, to not arc ourselves. Uh, we wanna make sure that the power, the battery is disconnected from the little motherboard, which is over here. And this is the big battery, this is the thing that powers your, your devices when, when the power goes out. Okay, so there's just a plus and a minus. There, there isn't really a ground. It doesn't really matter which one comes first. And basically you have to get this connector off of here. Just, and it just pulls straight out. Uh, try not to bend it, but I, I find that like it, they're really on there pretty good. I think they crimp them in the factory. So I use a little pair of pliers here. I got off of my little, my little uh, uh, Swiss army knife. And, uh, uh, and, and basically just grab this and just work it until the thing comes off. See that? So it's this little connector and it's just a little crimped on there. And, and what we just want to make sure is that we don't cross any of those wires while we're doing this until the battery is, is disconnected. Okay, so I'm going to try and do the other one here, get, a, get an angle on it. And I just don't want to arc between those two terminals. So I'm trying to be careful here and uh, just work that off. See? Oh, easy peasy. Okay, so those two things are off. The battery is right here. We're gonna take that and set that aside and not try and touch anything across those, across those two connectors right there. Normally I would put that sort of out of the way, but I'll leave it on camera. Okay, so next step. What you're looking for, and it doesn't matter which UPS you have. These will all be the same. Uh, this one happens to be a pretty nice little unit. I've done this, you know, uh, before. So what you're looking for is you're looking for a round, a round little thing on the circuit board, a round little thing with a little hole in the end. That's the speaker. Okay. So, and this is the one from the previous one I just, I did, I did earlier. So I practice this. <laughs> uh, I need, I need several of these around my house. Okay. So. So this is the little little speaker we're looking for. Okay, so we're gonna put that, that one aside. Okay, so if you look around on this board, it turns out uh, the speaker, I don't know if you can see it, but it's hidden right in this back corner right here. I found it because, and I had to disassemble the other one more than this one, be, but now I, now I know where the little guy is. So again, we're being real careful here. It, there could be there could be a capacitor on the on the board. You could still get a little shock or something. So I'm being real careful. So I have to get this thing out of the way. This is like the little power strip, and it slides out real nice. Oh, there are a couple wires over here I found last time. They're just they're just stuffed. These wires are just stuffed in here um, to route them around this little post, and it and it causes resistance. So let me just pry those out. But it, and I'll I'll show them to you in a second. Um, but they're not, I'm just, I'm just pulling on them real gentle. So it's this green and black wire that are back here. They were, they were down around a post in there and it just, it just holds the, it, it, it was just to route them. It's, I don't know. I always wonder how these guys end up with these designs. 
Um, okay, so try and get that out of the way of camera. And here you now can see in beautiful, all of its glory, you can see this little, this little speaker down here. Okay, so the first time I did this, I pulled the motherboard off. There's just three screws and you just gotta pull it out. And, uh, and, and, it, and, it, and it worked okay. But now that I know, now that I know it's there, and I now that I know I can just sort of grab it and wiggle it off. So it's soldered into the motherboard with two little pins. So <laughs> this is basically what I did last time, but I, I did it with the um, I had the, the the circuit board all the way out so I could see what I was doing. But I'm gonna try and sh take a shortcut here. I'm just gonna grab this little guy, okay? And I'm just gonna wiggle him around. And, and I don't know, he, I don't know if you can see this, but it's immediately coming loose. And there it is. And there you have it. You have a speaker-free UPS at this point. All right? All right. So, there you go. Now we have two of those. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is reverse and close this all back up. Do exactly what I just did in reverse now that I got rid of the evil speaker that never should have been put in the product and that I would pay $40 more for this whole product if they would remove it for me in the factory or just not solder it on there. Keep that part in the factory. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants a speaker on a UPS. Okay, so that just seats back in there. Oh, and then we gotta route these little little cables back. If you don't, if you don't route these uh, cables under there, uh, Basically, if you if you don't route these, this little uh, the one of the screws can't go down and can't seat properly. Uh, took me a couple minutes to figure that out last time. Like why? You know, first I couldn't figure out why they'd shove the wires in like that, and then I then I then I couldn't figure out why I couldn't close it. So just shoving the wires down in there. All right, there you go. All right, that looks good. Okay, so now now that those wires are routed uh, properly. Sort of, kind of. Okay, so if you remember then, the next thing we did was, well, we're gonna reconnect the battery. Oh, and this little guy came out, that's all right. This, this basically goes, goes right back in here. Uh, you see that this is the, this is the, this is the, the power cable and it just comes right out of this end right here. Okay, so now, we're gonna hook the battery back up. Now the battery goes in like this eventually. In like this eventually. These wires run along the top and it goes in like this, but uh, it doesn't really matter as long as you wire up the red to the red. Now you can do this with your hands. It's not gonna shock you as long as you don't complete a circuit. And, um, and, and maybe it would be worth it for, to remember that which way it was up when you pulled it off, but uh, whatever, I don't know if it's that important. So you just, See how we just shove that little tongue back in there? Boom, that's it, that's all you have to do. No big deal, we're gonna shove this one on, being careful not to, you know, short anything. And those bend around a little bit if you want them. I'm gonna crimp them just a little bit uh, to make it just hold a little bit better, you know, and uh, crimp, you know, with my little pair of pliers here from my Swiss Army knife. Okay, so, battery's back up, thing's now live again. So we just put this down the way it, was there before, that's the battery. And then basically, uh, wanna, here's the, got the battery there. And then, uh, yeah, so you can see how the cover lines up. Now, if you, if you push it down, don't force anything. So make sure this is seated. Oh, the battery almost slid out there. Make sure, I got my finger on this to hold the battery in for a second. Okay, so it's all, you know, seated, everything looks good. All right, so try and put this last little bit on just to make sure everything fits. The first time I did this, that was like, you know, kind of like, oh, there it is. So it, it kind of springs in there and you kind of, this this part, let me see if I can hold this up really carefully holding it together. You don't, you shouldn't do this. And then this slides down along these little tracks on both sides. That's how, that's how that holds that on there. So I'm gonna put it down again, hold on, all right. There you go, slides in. Now, it'll, it'll fall apart if I pick it up. So, time to put all the screws back in. Here are the screws, got them all over there. Remember, they're all the same size, which is just hella convenient. Um, and <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be really careful to try and put one in each 
of the six holes in the top so I can remember. I'm going to go in order so that I can remember how to do this. Uh, one of them here. And again, just, it's a real forgiving design. You just drop the screw in and kind of find the top of it and just screw it in. And you don't, it's not, it's not rocket science. You, you don't have to cinch it too tight. You don't want to strip any of them, but you know, don't want to be too loose. It's just, it's, it's, it's not that big of a deal. This thing just sits on a shelf its whole life. It's not like it has to ride down the road or something in the back of a pickup truck. Um, they're really, they're really actually pretty well built. Okay, now we got two, two, two of the screws are left down here. And they're for this little door. I'm gonna be careful about that. All right, there's two little, two little, two little screw holes here. And we just drop those little bad boys in. So you, you might be able to see these a little bit better. See, they're pretty, they're pretty easy to get in. Okay, so at this point, it is all sealed back up, right? And it's it's back to its its normal self. It's you know beautiful little device, but with one very important change. Now watch this closely because this is this is just a thing of beauty. So the speaker the speaker is no longer attached. So we plug this in, okay, and we turn it on. It's got a kind of a long turn on. But it didn't beep when it came on. But you can see from a green light that it's on. So it's a, it's a great little unit. Now watch closely. I unplug it. Now we're, we're, if you remember, at the start of this video, it when I unplugged it, it waited for a few seconds and then this thing flashed when it beeped. Okay, watch this. So I unplug it, we wait. That would have been beeping. And now you have, thank you very much, an absolutely perfect unit, that, a lovely unit that now works correctly because it never will beep again. There's no way it can beep, we remove the speaker.